have a vision for Nigeria, Pastor Tundi Bakare says. May join 2023 presidential race. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Bakare urged Nigerians to consider the capacity of candidates before electing the leader in 2023. Pastor Tundi Bakare of the Citadel Global Community Church may soon declare his intention to run for 2023 presidency. Bakare said he had the vision for a new Nigeria and he was the best suitable candidate to address the problems confronting Nigeria. The pastor and former vice presidential candidate disclosed this on Saturday at a virtual meeting unveiling Project 16 to Nigerians in diaspora. Bakare urged Nigerians to consider the capacity of candidates before electing a leader in 2023. The cleric warned that ahead of a 2023 general election, the South was being set against the North while Christians were set against Muslims. He, however, said he remains the rallying point to restore order in the country. He said the, the, the brand he is a rallying point for all Nigerians. I have a vision of a new Nigeria and I will play in the leading role as we approach the Nigeria of our dreams. Please, I want to ask, is it not the same pastor that came out and said a whole lot of things that the that the Igbos were cursed that they are not going to, you know, ever rule Nigeria? Is not the same pastor that is tribalistic. He's the one saying he has, my goodness. Anyway, if Nigeria were in a safe country, the moment he delivered that thing finished, he would have been called to come and defend what he said. But unfortunately, our country is completely lawless. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pastor Tony Bakari, God loves freedom. Okay. Pastor Bakari's vision is basically, is basically on his lips. Very flippant. An empty-headed fellow. Oh my goodness. Nigerians will drag this man. He definitely will continue to expose his lack of relationship with God by always prophesying that God says when it is all lies. Kai. You printed an exact and precise picture of that criminal behind the pulpit. <laughs> Apart from church, what else has this man, Tundi Bakari, done except to give false prophecy and loot offering and tight money in the name of General Dovasia? <laughs> I'm tired of all these global pastors and I feel pity for their followers because they are pastors of doom. They only talk about prosperity and fighting, forgetting the essence of Christian, which is eternal salvation. Sincerely, your members are in a very sorry state. There are some people who not not to say them, not to not to condemn anybody, but there are some people just as we have been told that you know prophets will arise, fake prophet, pro, fake prophet, those who will say I am he, I am he, you know, I've been sent from God. There are people who have gathered enough candidates for hell, sincerely, with their method of, 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 of preaching, who have gathered enough. Because when you hear these people speak, you start asking yourself, but this person is a pastor now. Not that he's a pastor, he cannot, you know, he cannot um, go out of line or be, you expect him to behave divinely. But for someone who's a pastor, for some things to be coming out from his mouth, Haba, Uncle, you don't have the fear of God. Think about your life. Hmm. Please keep your vision to yourself. Your vision of 2014. Hearing everything he said about the Igbos, you know, recently, and him coming out to declare for presidency, I'm all, uh -huh. if Nigeria were to be a sane country, this man would be brought. You know, he's going to come in, he's going to be questioned and asked where he goes his fight from. And apart from that, uh -huh. this is a time where we are supposed to be very careful about our utterances. And of course, History that they have not been available to us will make global Nigerians to fall for whatever he said. From what we have said and what we know, nobody's going to be taking a Bakari serious. He has a vision for Nigeria. The same man came out and told us a uh, Igbo are cursed by Tafawa Balewa. Is it Tafawa Balewa? One of these uh, northern uh, politician who had passed on that he laid curse on the Igbos and he has the power to reverse the cause. And that is the reason why the Igbos have not been able to rule in this country. And a lot of people were like disappointed in his utterance. Since that, how could you be saying that? Are you trying to unite Nigeria or you are trying to cause more problems for those who never even hear that? If it is true, we need to put that caveat there. If it is true, you are beginning to reopen old ones or for those who never knew. Do not, ah, could it be this, could it be that? And with already uh, uh, tension that we have on our hands 
and you are saying such a thing and this man is coming out to tell us that he has a dreams for nigeria who does that who does that i've always said it's those who are clamoring for nigeria oh we don't want nigeria to break nigeria must be together and meanwhile in the recent they know that the path at which we are going is not the right direction it's not the right direction and that's why nigeria is sinking they will see black and call it yellow they will see good and call it evil look the other way when things are getting bad and deteriorated they will not be able to speak some are doing that out of grief some are doing that out of fear some are doing that doing that out of coward that uh, cowardness coming out to say such a thing are you trying to unite nigerians or you are trying to divide or you are trying to create enmity that you have what it takes and we've been asking the questions those who have not been caused they have been really in this country how far have they ruled this country what goodness have they brought to this country everything is even worse so to me if not that uh, people just want to oh we just want to be part of the whole thing and that is the right thing to do the Igbo should have just stayed back and be watching them watching the people who have have the opportunity who know how to play the politics to continue to destroy the country they have destroyed the country those who were not caused they have destroyed this country and you are telling us that there's some people this and that that the because of the cost that was placed on them that is why they have not been able to rule the country you wait down they rule the country wait till don't rule, rule comments wait till you don't rule comments we you wait till you don't rule comments it's so it's unfortunate it's unfortunate he has what it takes to bring a, a nigeria dream the man that wanted to run with a or about uh, what is this man's name buhari and see uh, even people were thinking that uh, oh if if they are not allowed buhari to come on board oh yes the nigeria would have been this and that but now this is the reason that's this is the same thing that they would have been doing together and he said he has a vision he has dream for nigeria who is going to be believing this man i doubt okay uh, i doubt i doubt i doubt nigeria say will be interested in listening to them it's just unfortunate it is just unfortunate 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 uh, because you know that say some people will just say uh take whatever they say hook like and sinker they will take it that's why they always come out to vomit a one manner of a rubbish well maybe his church members are of course he will have his own fans he will go and vote for him but as far as i'm concerned these guys are not truthful they are not truthful. At the end of the day, let the will of God be done. But we have to take our own stand. We have to take, tell God to give us direction to know the right people to vote for. If that is going to help in the first place, because the majority of the people don't even believe in all this voting. People have been voting for God knows when. And what have we gained? Nothing.